All right, welcome back to the second part of this challenge. Last time we got getting on track like a pro. So first I'm going to show you what has been happening in the background. So Factorio slowly generates terrain around you uh, at the speed of about one chunk per second uh, up until about this distance away. So I'm going to explore the map, the invisible part of the map, which has been generated but not yet uh, shown on the mini map. And we are just going to see just how much terrain has been generated around us. So we've done a pretty good job of protecting the starting area now with all these dark red circles. And all the light green circles are valid expansion chunks. And it looks like this chunk has currently been selected for expansion. So there's a pretty low chance that uh, the enemy will still expand close by the main base like it has been doing at the beginning of the game because at the beginning of the game all this extra land has not been generated yet and you just start with a tiny section of land and the problem is the only available chunks for expansion are defined to be close by your base because there is just no other land generated yet so now with all this land generated in the background it will uh, take some while as now this chunk is already selected for uh, expansion so yeah, that is how it's going to go every four minutes from now on. But of course, these are not that many green chunks, so they will fill up eventually too. And once all chunks are red, then it doesn't really matter anymore. If all chunks are red, all chunks are green, basically. So the first thing now we are going to do is trying to get to uh, auto automobilism. And we're just going to explore a whole bunch more terrain by hand, basically as much as we can, in order to generate as much of these green circles as we can but first we are going to load our save so all these achievements are tracked again so basically there is no way we're gonna get there is no spoon absolutely no way i hope we can get there is no time for chat chat which is like the 15 hour mark maybe with a lot of practice and a good plan it would be possible but uh, for now first i want to get science going again I think we still have a hundred green sign specs for automobilism. And then I guess we need like two, three, four hundred red sign specs to meanwhile research all the red tags. So let's get to that. Let's grab all what we can from this crappy setup, which I absolutely don't like. I don't know why I built it so awkward. <laughs> yeah, it's not the, not the best. All right. It's another thousand plates. I think we are still generating, or uh, well, the pollution is still getting onto the biter nests. Splitter spawners, yeah, it's still going up. So, overall, they absorb 26 pollution and it consumes 30 pollution for one big spitter. So, if they are attacking now, then it will be two medium spitters. Right, let's uh, just get this over with. That's like 600 of those. I think I'm not gonna spend more time now researching green. 300 gears I need. 300 gears. Right, so that is 600 red sign specs. That's more than we need. We need eight more engines though. Do we still have some steel? We should have some steel. Ah, it's in here, of course. We need eight more engines to make a car, basically. Let's make two cars in case I screw up. And uh, one gets uh, yeeted somehow. Okay, we can switch off those circles again. Right, automobilism has almost been researched. I need to insert inserters in the last two. I think I didn't do that, apparently. Then we need to make a car. Let's make two cars. 
And I think we're then just gonna ignore all of this and go exploring. I think I could afford to switch this on a little bit more. And then we're just uh, awkwardly first going to place these pipes here in the forest everywhere. Okay, so now I need to copy a little bit bigger section to find the right alignment. Basically these spots, we want to get in some of those uh, pipes as well. Alright, let's uh, select all of these. Unfortunately we don't have steel axe just yet. <laughs> That beam drone can probably shoot me. Maybe not. That guy... Ooh, that guy is incredibly dangerous. He can basically one-shot me. <laughs> right, we survived that. Let's try to get this flashlight down through this forest somehow. I'm just uh, wasting time to get uh, some more iron production going before we get away so we have something to work with once we get back. And also it is it is important to uh, lower expansion chains in these chunks as well because we're gonna need quite some time to set up and improve to a point where we can like tickle <laughs> the behemoths. We won't be able to seriously damage them for a long time. Alright, that is that. There is one more chunk over here. That is going smoothly. Oh, we have steel axe now. Now it's, we can at least chop the trees a little faster. I think we'll be ready with all those red tags before we even leave. I really should be getting out of there because the more expansions there are, the higher the chances that I will be blocked. Yeah, let's do that and that. And then we'll head back. Fast inserter, weapon shooting speed and physical projectile damage. Which we're actually going to need, believe it or not. Alright, let's get back. Let's put the car on my hotbar. Let's get back everything. Are we again polluting those nests? Yes, we are. All right, that's enough. Okay, that's a good amount of stuff. We don't need all of that. Why do I still have one lap? That's a good question. Actually, we're about to run out of power. So let's get this uh, coal to use. I think I'm gonna switch off that radar. Alright, I think we are ready to go explore with our car. 32 coal. Ah, we have a lot of wood. That's good. Wood is good as well. Alright, let's get out of here. You just really need to be careful to not 
provoke a single attack. Medium, um, that might be a natural spawn as well then. Yeah, I spoke about wanting to protect this area. Maybe we'll spend some time laying down some pipes here as well. Because this area is still <coughs> unprotected. And my pollution will spread very easy over the water later. I might need a new car because I don't have repair packs. I should be a little bit careful <laughs> where I drive. Because I cannot make repair packs by hand. It's a pretty big forest. Right, I guess more terrain is going to be generated in the background while I am working around here. So I am going to do it. Just need to see how that lines up. I cannot copy that. See, this is one, two, three, four. This chunk border. Then we should have this one. Just to continue the pattern, right? Let's get one down here as well. Or like half one maybe. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to switch on this again. And this again. Just so we can see uh, the effect of the pipes. So basically whatever I place here is not really a big influence yet. Or any influence yet until... They are valid expansion chunks. Entities placed in terrain which are not valid expansion chunks don't have any influence on nearby expansion chunks as well. So here's another intersection. Right. Actually it would be pretty bad if they expanded here because that's my way home. I don't have infinitely many pipes. So these pipes don't have any effect just yet, but they will have effect once uh, enemies expand to here or so. And from here, yeah, look, look at that effect. Immediately dark red. Let's get this edge in as well. Then we protected most of the water edge. What is this? <laughs> oh, how did I forget that square? Alright. That's pretty good. What is this actually? A small worm. <laughs> That's a natural spawn then. Alright, I think that is enough limitation on this other side of the lake. Now they won't quickly settle here as well. I just probably I need to plop down there a couple of pipes. See this chunk, this chunk, this chunk, this chunk on the side of the stone and that junk which is in the water Alright, 
that's looking good. Now where to explore first? I think I want to go left. Alright, let's get in the car. Can we drive between this? That is a little <laughs> tricky. But we can. Probably should uh, turn off the grid and those expansion circles. That's a little bit GT at this point. Or at least the expansion circles. They will tell you pretty accurately when you're about to <laughs> hit up an enemy nest like that. Especially when driving north and south. I need to be pretty careful. Some water. <laughs> medium worms. If it's medium worms, it's probably not an expansion, but it looks like that is blocked. It's a small nest, though. Basically, we're gonna uncover a whole lot of terrain as much as I can, and hopefully, on the way, we won't get blocked in by expanding biters so that we cannot return home. That would be the worst case scenario. That is a pretty big nest. I think I cannot really get between that. Now it's getting dark. That's even more annoying. A pretty big nest already. Okay, that's about as close as I want to get over there. Alright, so I guess we can stop tracking this one. Yep, there's no way through that, so let's head on further this way. I'll switch off the blinking tech light for once. Just gently, carefully drive to the north. Don't run into any nest. Already in big worm territory. Okay, we are pretty far out, that is true. There's a lot of big pythoness uh, clumped together here. This is only default settings. Oi, 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 oi. Let's get exactly in that chunk. Look how many pythoness there are here clumped together. That is a lot of <laughs> biters. Maybe we are, we are a little too far out. Maybe it's normal. A normal density, I don't know. Okay, now we need to be very careful because this toolbar is blocking any vision to the south. I'm crashing into all kinds of stuff. It's kind of a... A little bit of function of uh, me scanning for biters instead of trying to see where I'm going. I think that's far enough on that side. There's some good iron here though. So I've driven away pretty far from spawn because this terrain has all been generated already and now around me over here. Uh, one chunk per second is generated for free around my current location. Plus all the terrain I'm revealing myself. And all of this terrain will net new expansion chunks for the enemy. That's a medium worm again. <laughs> Just single. Just uh, need to find a way back now, if we can. Hopefully there's a, some sort of a way through here. Yet another nest. So there are at the moment no expansions in this area. Let's drive around here back to this side. 
I found this forest, I guess. That is a big nest as well. So there are no expansions here yet because this terrain has not been generated before we visited here basically. Unlike the terrain in our starting area. So actually I cannot seem to get down there. Maybe around this nest but again there are some biters over here. I need to be careful especially in the dark. This will fit if there's no nest south of me. It looks like we're through. Mostly looking at the minimap when I'm driving south. I think I'll see the biters pop up there before I see them on my screen. Alright. We are back at this corner here. Let's uh, see if we can follow the water a little bit. That's some good full speed exploration this. Right, let's check out where we are. We are pretty close back to the start. That is a giant amount of terrain we uh, uncovered here. This was already generated. And now we generated this terrain plus something more around it. So I guess let's try to go a little more this way. Let's drive through the forest to avoid those uh, biters. Let's just keep uncovering terrain. A lot of oil here. <laughs> Is it worth it sneaking through that? Maybe. It's a little tight but it should exactly fit. And suddenly we encounter three giant biter nests south of us. Alright, we're not gonna get through that. Guess we can discover a little bit more land to this side. We oui. <coughs> that's an expansion for sure. A behemoth worm right there. It's a pretty big expansion too. Lots of uh, lots of guys. Now I'm in the generator terrain already. So we should be careful, the density of Bytoness here is a lot uh, larger due to all the expansions which have already formed during the game. Let's, uh, let's try to head out a little bit more to the southwest. Another giant worm expansion <laughs> down to the south there. And another expansion right here. <laughs> so we can see the expansions have been busy. We are almost two hours in. That means uh, 30 enemy expansions should have popped up already in total. Perhaps once or twice maybe some 
random chunk on an island was selected where they can get to. That would be lucky. Like, uh, let's not drive <laughs> without looking. Like, if a chunk on this island is selected, that's good for us. Because um, uh, they can get to there, so then they won't, exp they won't expand. So basically, we are uncovering as much land as possible. So, we are basically now uncovering land for the rest of the game, for the biters to expand into. That is our mission. Nope, 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 get out of there. I don't trust that gap. Especially not if I need to come back through that gap one more time myself later. Now we're in the Greenlands again. And another lake. Okay, that's far enough south. It looks like there is no way to get through any of that. So I guess let's head up back north until we meet that water edge. And we are out of coal. Fortunately, this car runs just as well on wood. Yeah, those nests are quite sizable let's explore out around the lake edge until we meet up with the terrain over here make sure we don't meet up too close by The good news is we are also finding a lot of resources actually, so we will later know where we want or need to expand. Alright, I guess I can get to this side from the other side. I think I want to get back up here, so if I can. It looks like I cannot. No, there's another nest up here. Alright, that's bad news. That's an expansion. Okay, let's go then light up that last black blob over here and then just head through that small gap i guess and hope for the best now this is the most dangerous part of really now we are driving through uncovered land thinking that we are safe but of course a new expansion could have popped right up somewhere in this land okay let's Carefully inch further. It's a big nest to the right. My car is halfway dead already. Copper patch. Another stone. <laughs> oh, I see biters. That was another rock, and another rock, and another rock. <laughs> it's almost like I'm doing it on purpose. This looks like a dead end. We may have to get out of the car and just walk through the forest with our car in our pocket. I may end up needing that second car. <laughs> we are a good distance out again. Oh, 
This is a long river slash lake. Two more hits and I'm done for. And my other car already has some damage as well. I was afraid of that. We're going to have to carry our car through this forest. <coughs> and this is the good car, apparently. I don't really dare drive much further to the south. Let's get up then, go up. Yep, we are walking again. How do we get out? By walking through this forest? Or by driving back up all the way around there? Okay, I guess we're walking through that forest. Actually, we can just continue on the south here, can't we? Of course by walking through the forest, but it's not so much forest like uh, the other forest. It's a little tight. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go more south than this. That is south enough. Not gonna attempt that. I can go right here, maybe. Warning taken. Where are we now? Tons and tons of empty land here. 10 million patches of ore. That's a giant nest. That's a giant rock. Okay, I think it's time to head back up here. To hour 16. When did we start exploring? I think we're driving around for half an hour already. I was going with the pollution in the starting area. Should be just about gone. Yeah, just on the water. Water is the slowest uh, absorbing tile, so any lingering pollution which does not spread out anymore will be slowest to dissipate on the water. We will be arriving back to a clean slate. This is not back to the base direction. Oi, this is back to the worms direction. But I think we're doing a good job of uncovering a lot of land in not too much time. Pretty efficient, trying to avoid all the forests and stuff. We just need to be a little bit wary of the fact that <laughs> expansion continues. <laughs> hey, this is the third achievement, isn't it? Yeah, we got three achievements now. Getting on track, getting on track like a pro and destroy 100 trees by impact. <laughs> I didn't saw that one coming. <laughs> Thank you. 
we do appear to be back in the the originally generated area as I see a lot of expansions and just generally a lot of small biter nests everywhere we may have some trouble finding a way back actually actually how do we get back through there back all the way around No, I thought we could drive around that forest, but we can't. So let's aim for a single tree. And get through it that way. Big iron patch. Don't drive so fast to the south. It will kill you. Behemoth worms. A sure sign of enemy expansion. Oi, 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 oi. That's too close for comfort. It looks like we can still get back around here, for now at least. I do want to get to this side though. Can I just brute force my way through? If there's one over here as well, then we probably have to return. Here is an enemy expansion at work actually. You can see they have gathered here and they are going to form nests now. See if we can just spot uh, spot that. Right on the copper patch, those bastards. Any day now. Okay, this is taking too long. I don't know what's going on with these guys. They should be making an expansion, but uh, we'll see. On the 7.3 million copper patch. Perhaps we'll see it later. I guess we'll drive back now. Still nothing yet? Still nothing yet. Alright. Now we're trying to get back in this big black area, but it does look like we may be blocked. How did we get here? Like that, I guess. Alright. Looks like we're walking again. Both of our cars are down to less than half health. To no health at all, almost. That concludes <laughs> that part of the exploration. Let's go this way. Water. Oh, I should have to stop doing that. Both of my cars are almost uh, totaled. Right, now we just have to not follow the lake, but just head north after the next convenient forest opening. <sighs> two more rocks and this car is gone, and two more rocks and the other car is gone as well. There is a giant biter nest. 
At least now we drive on the grassland, there are not too much rocks on the grassland. There is some biter nest. I think it's pretty incredible we got to explore all this land. I didn't expect to be able to waste so much time <laughs> driving around. I thought we'd be locked up much sooner. That biter base is blocking uh, the waste through everywhere. But it looks like we're good. Wait, that is a big, big blobby cluster. Okay, I guess we are going to go through this forest. One foot, again. So yeah, <laughs> there is no spoon. There is no spoon. We can forget about that. Health 21 and health 14%. So this is the good car. <sighs> we may be walking home. We may be walking home. So yeah, we need to make some repair packs once we get home. At least if we still have a car left to repair. If we don't have a car left to repair, then we don't need to repair packs either. How do we get home? I think we need to walk a little further because of this forest and these biters. And get past these guys. There is something in the north. Now we need to be careful, biters can be everywhere. Yeah, we're not getting through that, are we? No, we may be getting through that. It looks it's a little sketchy, but it works. Wait, where are we? Oh, we are now already on this side of the base. Ah. Alright. Here is a lot of expansions again. Right, that was not too much to explore here. We are basically blocked by this giant lake. Alright, looks like we can explore a little bit more north and that's about it. And then we need to get back through that scary too small opening again. How did we do it through this one? I guess we could go south and try through the forest. Or not. Is it gonna go Geronimo? Whoa, that was close. And here we are in our safe home again. Oh. <laughs> Pro player here guys, managed to get hit by the only one shot. <laughs> Alright, that's one car. And that's the second car. 26 hit points and 34 hit points. Alright. I'd say that was pretty successful and we still have this angle to explore but first we need uh, we can probably take advantage of the fact that uh, we are not generating any pollution anymore or at least barely just the idle stuff in these two chunks at the power plant all of the other pollution has completely dissipated so we can afford to switch this on and this on And I think we can make some repair packs, maybe. I 
I think one repair pack is not gonna cut it. Alright, that's good. Two cars. All these furnaces seem to be out of coal though. And we have no more coal stockpiled anywhere. It seems. Even the boilers. Ah oh no, the boilers have coal. Alright, I think it is time for our 111th craft, which is just this heavy armor. Why not? Why not spend it? Make some more steel. I guess we could um, research advanced material processing maybe for the better furnaces. Maybe that one is even more basic. We won't have the research to finish all of that, but it's alright. Alright, I think I'm just gonna leave it on like this. It will stop automatically, eventually, when this coal line backs up and then we, when we come back we can scoop all that coal up and refuel the furnaces. Maybe I should just um, one of these can uh, mine into a chest. Ah, let's keep driving on wood. Why not? Let's go explore the last corner and then I'll show you the effect of the exploration we did, like the map before and after. Oh, we did finish it. Well, let's get military too, I guess. It's a small tech. Maybe we have enough packs for that as well. Alright, this looks like a dead end as well. Up here, there are some worms in the forest. Ah, there are some biters too. Alright then. This side is concluded. Then we can only go up north here and see what's up there. That's the last bit of land we physically can explore for the rest of the game basically Alright, this is a little risky because if something settles here while we are up north we are done for basically, so let's make this quick. Alright, I'm not gonna go up there. We were out of fuel again, by the way. <laughs> the north side does seem to have giant clusters of giant biter nests everywhere, basically. In the south, we just roll through everything. But here we are basically screwed and my frame rate is going to hell, which is not good. I think I'll have to take a break and see what's up.
3, 2, 1, move. Alright. So, this is the land we physically explored during our exploration uh, round. And to get an idea of the scale, this was approximately the land which was revealed uh, before our exploration. So one, two, three, four, five, at least five times as much land is available now. Okay, let's, um, let's show those expansion candidate chunks. All in our area is red as we wanted and there are now so many green circles available. Already expansions are starting to pop up. Here in this uh, lightly red colored uh, area, that's an expansion over there. But let's now reveal the true efforts of our exploration. Watch closely. That is the truly generated land. Beyond what we can see on the minimap. And now we can also look at that expansion. So yes, that is a lot of places for the enemies to make expansion. And they will heavily disfavor this area over here. Now we can start to build a base. Well, we still need to be careful that our pollution doesn't spread out to these guys, to these guys all around us, to these guys out here in the open. And most <coughs> our pollution first reaches these guys because it's close to our mines and this is just open land. So we need to do something about these guys. The good news is it's all spitters. And spitters we can defeat from the start of the game because they don't have armor. Let me quickly show you that, why not? <coughs> we might as well go in the editor now. So let's give ourselves a bunch of gun turrets. Technology, let's even... Um, let's uh, unresearch. There's the other one, here. So we have no bonuses now. But still against spitters, behemoth spitters, it is not so bad. Let's put a behemoth spitter here and then we play, let's say 10 seconds, it's like 600 ticks. And he's dead. A behemoth spitter, the end game enemy defeated by 5 damage early game bullets. Now. <laughs> Let's put a behemoth biter there and see what happens. Zero damage at all. Like decimal points he said, now has 29, 60 health. 10 seconds are gone. And as soon as all of this is gone, this guy is going to heal up 2973. He's out healing one turret with ease. 2983. He's healing like 5 health every second. So we cannot kill that guy. Okay, let's get rid of that guy. Alright. Let's put him back. And now. We are not going to use that ammo, but we are going to use red ammo. And we are going to give ourselves damage 1 and damage 2 and speed 1 and speed 2. So basically everything that you can get with red and green technology. Let's make a couple more, let's say 20 turrets that should do the job. Let's even give it a nice wall around it. Uh, with one extra space, so the behemoth biter cannot uh, reach the turrets. Let's uh, again see what happens. Well, we are damaging him. 
very very slowly he's almost down to half health I think we're gonna kill him maybe 800 yeah he's going down he's going down <laughs> I didn't think he was going down Okay, we killed a behemoth biter with only red and green technology. That is awesome. Now let's put all this in the chest. Then how much ammo did we put in here? I think we put 100 in each turret. That's 2000 ammo. Let's see how much is left. Nice. <laughs> only 1400 red ammo to kill one single behemoth biter. So yeah, we are not going to be able to attack those guys anytime soon. Let's put that back and put the behemoth biter back as well. That's uh, back to 10 turrets. Again. 1000 ammo in these turrets. And then let's research physical projectile damage 3, which needs 300 military science packs. Let's see what happens. 3 damage per bullet, that is something. And we are killing him. And we have killed him, but he has killed our turret. We have, uh, that looks like about 100 magazines worth of shooting. Well, he did kill that turret, so let's try that again. 10 seconds. 3 damage per bullet. And we blocked, uh, we blocked him from getting through. Let's put all that in the chest. And now we can properly see... Yeah, we used 92. 92 magazines to kill one biter. How much better does it get when we have... Projectile damage 4. Again, 1000 rounds in there. Behemoth biter. So heal up the wall. I guess we should be good to go now. Now we have 20.5 damage per bullet. 20.5. Let's give it again 10 seconds. Right, 8 damage. That is a lot better. That is a lot better. But still. 40 magazines. 40 red magazines to kill one single biter. That is... Um, Expensive, let's call it expensive. And it's only after we reach the highest military upgrade, which costs 400. The next one is blue tech, and for that we need oil. And I'm not sure we can still get oil, because no, we might, but we might not. It is really surrounded by, uh, by biter nests. I think we cannot just take that oil. This one maybe, but it's also very difficult to get it back to the base. Alright, but <laughs> yeah. So now that's the plan. Uh, probably we are going to try to take out these early, which is a problem because there's two behemoth worms. Ah no, one. No, two behemoth worms and one big worm. That is pretty sketchy. I don't know if we'll be able to take out that pretty soon, but I guess we're going to have to try. Because uh, that's where the pollution goes the first. And we cannot have any production with these guys here. So yeah, we'll see if that works. And then we can take over this area too with our pipes on the ground everywhere. And uh, yeah, then we go from there. That's the plan. Alright. <laughs> Thank you for watching this uh, exploring episode. And uh, see you next time.